Hey guys, welcome, welcome to your space. If you've been here before, welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in this world. And today, we're gonna be talking about the James Webb Space Telescope. Oh, I'm so excited. This thing is gonna be huge. It's going to change humanity forever. Let's go check it out. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine, why not do it with some style? The James Webb Space Telescope. It's gonna be your telescope. It's gonna be the Earth's telescope. We're gonna be able to see so far back in time, all the way to the beginning of our universe, 14 billion years ago. Awesome, crazy. We're also gonna be talking about the Hubble Space Telescope and how it changed astronomy and how James Webb is going to be able to see so far out to find other galaxies and other worlds out there that could possibly be a planet just like ours. Let's launch this video. James Webb Space Telescope saying that it launches in November of this year, 2021. I hope so. It will change astronomy forever. Even though we have the Hubble Space Telescope in space right now, the Hubble Space Telescope is only about 14 feet in diameter. It, it was only large enough to fit inside of the cargo bay of the space shuttle. 14 feet an average master bedroom. Now, James Webb is going to be epic big. The James Webb Sun Shield is going to be 70 feet by 50 feet. That's two school buses and a half. Hubble was launched April 24th, 1990 on the Discovery Space Shuttle. Hubble's orbit is about 547 kilometers or 340 miles or so. It's, going to, it's about 100 miles higher than the International Space Station. The furthest Hubble has seen has been 10 to 15 billion light years away. But, but that's with 1990 or older technology. Even though we did launch a couple of shuttles up there to do some upgrades, it's still not gonna be the technology that we're gonna have now. James Webb will see way farther, more detail than Hubble. We will see so many galaxies and reach out to the beginning of time to pretty much the Big Bang. Bang! The Big Bang. Bada boom. Big. Even to the beginnings of our sun's formation. Our sun is really, really big. If you grab an Earth, you can fit a million of them inside of our sun. Using the scale of the basketball like I've done in my other videos before, if this were to be the Earth, the Sun would roughly be about 86 feet in circumference. It's huge, almost the size of a house. That's really freaking big. Let me get a sticky note here. And for example, you, you know a dot of an eye. So, I'll draw a dot of an eye or a period from a book. If the sun was the size of this dot, our galaxy is pretty much the size of our Earth. That's crazy. Damn! What it did was we pointed it to an area in space. Black, dark, no planets, no stars, nothing. As it was taking this deep look at the universe, it opened its lens or its mirror. And how this works, is pretty much the same as a camera doing a long exposure. It opens its lens and lets the little bit of light come through. The longer it stares into this darkness, the more exposure comes through the lens. When you do that, the lens allows you to see fainter and fainter objects. So Hubble stared at this dark spot for over a month. And what this did was it let the tiniest little bit of light come through the lens. And what we discovered that in this black empty spot was 5,000 galaxies. 5,000 galaxies. 5,000 galaxies. 
5,000 galaxies that we didn't even know were there. They were so faint, we couldn't see them. So how big of the sky was this empty black spot that we were staring at? Let's go back to the dot of the eye. Oh, well, there's the dot. Now pretty much hold that dot about an arm's length away. You can barely see it, right? That was pretty much the area of space that the Hubble Space Telescope found those 5,000 galaxies. We have done this with Hubble many times, and every single time that we point into that dot, we find roughly 5,000 galaxies every time we look. So with that in mind, Hubble has found trillions of galaxies, and still we have not searched our entire sky at all. But how many galaxies are there in our universe? The universe is far larger than what we can see right now. We are building bigger and more technical telescopes for the future. We will be able to see galaxies so far out and so close in between that we'll really start getting to know our universe. But does that tell you how big the universe is? No, we just don't have the capability to see that far. And also, since our universe is expanding, that's been proven, the galaxies are moving further and further away. We can only see the light of time when it reaches our telescope. There is no way that we can know how many galaxies are in a universe. Our universe is infinite, and the galaxies in our universe is infinite. Space never ends. Maybe space does end. Maybe it's like a bubble or like a marble in that men in black ending scene with that with that huge alien playing with us in our galaxy. We don't know because we just can't see that far. Maybe one day we'll find out how many galaxies are in this universe. Until then, we'll keep looking up, trying to find incredible planets and moons and unbelievable galaxies that could be out there. Imagine if we find a planet like ours revolving around the sun in the Goldilocks zone. All you need is oxygen, water, and carbon. How memorable would that be? Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one. That's it. That's a wrap. Dude, six feet apart, bro. Where's my mask?